We're going to go ahead and we're going to break down all of the moves that the Tennessee Titans have made in 2022 NFL free agency. They have upgraded their offensive line. They've brought back another player that I know a lot of y'all are going to be excited about. And they also brought back another tight end. And the first deal that ended up going down while we were live on NFL Daily, Mitchell Renz and Tom Downey, was Jeff Swain. They ended up re-signing him on a one-year deal. Now, those contract details are not out yet. But for the pass blocking, run blocking tight end Swain, I actually think this is a good move for Tennessee. Yeah, this is going to be a cheap contract. They are not done looking at the tight end position because how could they possibly be? Sure. They had nobody really under contract. Tommy Hudson, I think, was technically under contract there. Anthony Ferkser was the planned starter. Fantasy hype. Disaster. <laughs> Jeff Swain was actually their best tight end this year. 31 catches, 210 yards, three scores. He's an aging player. He's had a nice long career in the NFL as a tight end two, tight end three. That's what this contract is going to be. That's the caliber of player Jeff Swaim is. You can't be done. Draft somebody, sign somebody else. But if he's your tight end two, you're probably fine then at the position if you get somebody just a little bit better at the spot. This is a depth backup rotation signing. That's what the money's going to be. Should not complain about this one whatsoever. Ever. I'm actually curious to see what they decide to do at slot receiver and what yeah. they decide to do with their other tight end position because a lot of the other good tight ends out there are pass catchers that I don't know if I would want to have as a run blocker, but maybe you could throw them out there as your wide receiver three next to Julio mm. Jones, next to A.J. Brown. But Jeff Swain, he's going to be remaining here in Tennessee. A deal that just went down, Jamarco Jones, he is signing with the Tennessee Titans on a two-year 5.75 million dollar deal with 3.15 million guaranteed you're looking at more of a little bit of a depth player tom i know you did, covered the seattle seahawks for us here at chat sports at times what do you think about this move how does it impact the tennessee titans uh, this is your basically your kendall lamb replacement is the way i would describe this player the titans cut lambo on the eve of free agency they saved around three million dollars giving most of that to jamarco jones jones had just 163 snaps last year he played every spot but center in that very small sample size. He's played left tackle. He's played left guard. He's played right guard. He's played right tackle. Is he an elite player? No, absolutely not. But that flexibility is valued in the NFL. So with uncertainty around who will be the team's right tackle long term, given Taylor Lewan's injury history, given that they also cut Roger Saffold, a Jones probably doesn't beat out a Dylan Raiden's, a Nate Davis, a David Quesenberry if he's brought back. But if he's your seventh offensive lineman, that's actually pretty good depth along the front for Tennessee. So not that expensive. Hopefully he doesn't play if he has to. You can survive with him out there on the offensive line. All right, y'all, so go down in the comments section and let us know what you're thinking. Now, the Titans, they did make another move, which we'll go ahead and we'll break down. Mm -hmm. But out of the moves that you've seen so far from the Titans, I want you to go ahead and I want you to grade it. A, B, C, D, or F. I know a lot of people are going to get blown away by Jeff Swain. Personally, I like their idea of being able to keep Ben Jones, and I also like the depth move there of Jamarco. But go ahead, get your grades in. A, B, C, D, or an F. Personally, for me, Tom, I'm just going to go ahead and say that it's a B minus. It's a C plus. It's good. It's an average. I would also say Swain and Ben, personally, I had as expected moves. Jones is more of a depth player. I'm going to go say C plus, B minus. What are you thinking? Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, maybe a B. I actually like the Ben Jones move a lot, which we'll get to here momentarily. A two-year, $14 million a year contract. That's pretty, pretty good value for a starting caliber center uh, who did a good job last year. Now, he's aging. Make no mistake, but... That was their biggest need, I thought. Entering yep. free agency was center because who'd you have behind Ben Jones? You're still probably looking for a draft pick to groom behind him. I think it's a good move overall by Tennessee. Not super splashy, but pretty solid overall. If you guys want to stay up to date on everything going on around the Tennessee Titans, help our YouTube channel get to 3,000 subscribers. The link is below. It's youtube.com slash Titans today. We're currently at 2,501 subs, so please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, then hey, send it to some other people. The biggest move that the Titans have done so far today is re-signing Ben Jones to that two-year, $14 million deal. I know he's getting up there in age, but you know, I feel like these offensive linemen who are still able to play at a at a 
uh, up there in age. I mean, Trent Williams is a great example. I yeah. get he's an offensive tackle, but you're still able to see some guys. Uh, who was the center from the Atlanta Falcons? He's Alex like, Mack. Alex Mack. He's like 36 years old as well. So Jones, good player. They didn't give him top 11, top 10 center money. I like this move a lot. Yeah, this is $7 million a year for a guy who was making just under $7 million on his previous contract, and I argue outplayed that level of contract. Now, yes, he's entering his age 33 season. You might start to see some signs of decline in the near future, but the addition of Jones, I believe, or excuse me, the retention of Jones solidifies their biggest need. Now tight end becomes that need, even with the retention of, of Jeff Swaim. Jones at center locks in that position. You can look the draft, you know, round three, round four, round five, whatever. Try to find someone to groom behind him. But without Ben Jones, this team had nothing I trusted whatsoever at that center position. This gives them an option. This gives them a player they can play and start and feel good about, uh, you know, starting. So it, it's a good move here. I mean, personally for me, when I understand center is one of these unsexy positions, but that's what Tennessee Titans football is right now. It's it's unsexy football. It's about going out there. It's about putting the head down. It's about picking up those extra yards, feeding the rock with Derrick Henry. That's what this is all about. So Ben Jones, two years, $14 million. I want you guys to hop back into that time machine. Let's go back to school here. Grade the move. Ben Jones back to the Titans. Scale it from one to 100, one being you don't like it at all, 100 being you absolutely love it. 